Hey, welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Owen Fox and in this video I wish to share with you um, tips for how to avoid arguments and how to make up and how to communicate which I've spent many years learning through you know many relationships maybe like seven eight type of relationships predominantly three main ones or two main ones predominantly probably maybe three so for, for first of all I want to say in my last video I made a video about um, how to how to let go of feeling really hurt after an argument and how to basically make up after having an argument and how to do it as fast as possible so I highly recommend that video I'll leave it below in um, either at the end of this video or in the little in the video so as a quick recap how to make up fast would be include um, finding it and realizing what's really really upsetting to the person and um, rather than any of the things they might say when they're upset so when someone's triggered they'll often say many different things like it could be it could be possibly potentially like sound like a put down a criticism a negative comparison to somebody else and how you're not like as good um, so that's because they're really upset and sometimes they say things that aren't really related to the real topic the most underlying topic of why they're really upset so it takes wisdom and awareness to understand what's really upsetting them and, and to figure it out or to even ask them to get tuned into it and let go then of all the things that they say and don't take it to heart don't take it personally but realize it's just a somewhat chaotic expression of an undermining hurt pain within them so water off a duck's back let go of what they said and say sorry for the same type of things that you've said that why you're really hurt and upset too therefore leading on to the next phase is when you understand this is coming from hurt and and pain within them it leads you to having compassion and a sensitive tender open heart towards them which then leads on to stuff like saying sorry possibly even saying please forgive me i love you and thank you which is ho'oponopono a very healing thing to think of or to say towards anybody in your present or past i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you you can either say this or at least tune into this energy and this allows emotional healing for you and when you feel compassion and love and open heartedness again then you speak special beautiful words addressing the real underlying problem and forgiving them and loving them better than you've been able than when you're hurt or angry so this helps to heal coupled with giving them an opportunity to speak without you interrupting and it took me many years to realize like this is what we mean when we say listening you don't listen to me or i just want you to listen it doesn't mean they want you to like have your ear open it means they want you to have your mouth closed basically speaking listen but without interrupting and talking yourself or explaining or defending or giving your point of view without adding on to what they said just listen with an, and don't speak this helps to further allow them healing and peace through allowing them to express what's needed to be expressed from their point of view so that's very powerful so that's about um, how to make up after an argument and to let go of your own hurt feelings also now, i did this recently and i worked magic and i'm so happy to, to, to share with you what worked for me so that's why i'm making this video the intention to help you so how to avoid arguments i've made videos about this too the most important thing is really to stop talking again when you feel like emotions and verbal talking or accusations are escalating you want to just like take a break and stop talking and create space create silence create a vacuum of, of silence and peace and also even give like a little bit of physical space allow someone to like calm down allow yourselves to, to, to calm down to find peace and uh, instead of being overstimulated um, because when you become verbally over talkative you can become mentally overstimulated which also make, makes people then become emotionally overstimulated which is really terrible like for the, for positive results um, so yeah that's what i'd very highly recommend for that um, so this is about self-awareness and wisdom about knowing when to stop as opposed to when to engage like there's a time and a place to stop and there's a time and a place to engage so the time to engage again is is like when you feel you've had enough space both of you um so yeah that's very very helpful for me in my life enormously because i used to get into all sorts of this stuff that i'm trying to help you with now you know 
So I'm hoping to save you a lot of hassle. So this is like wisdom and uh, knowledge I'm sharing with you through my own studying and learning knowledge and also my own personal experience. So it really improves your life when you have much more peace and when you have less arguments, you have you create a space and an opportunity to have more closeness and togetherness and feeling connected, much more happier, harmonious, joyful relationship together. And of course, this can apply to any type of human relation, not just a romantic uh, relationship too. Um, so yeah, another thing to, um, in, t in terms of arguments is try not to blame or criticize other people. Um, the most important thing is to understand where the person is coming from. That's what I've learned in my own experience. I've identified the, to, uh, the most important thing is to understand where they're coming from. Because when you understand why people are saying certain things or behaving a certain way, that is a breakthrough moment where you have a deep understanding and you can have compassion and love and tenderness towards their hurt, pain or predicament. Um, so understand error or another person's chaos or chaotic behavior or disharmonious behavior or, or ways and then we can address it and help it to heal and become more nourished and supported to find a healthy way of behaving and a happy way, a healthy way of feeling emotionally. So also regarding what I just said about do not try not to blame or because the opposite of blaming is taking responsibility for how we feel or our behavior. So rather than saying you did this, you said this, and now I feel terrible and this is this is what I do because you did that or because you didn't say this or because you didn't do these things it's like instead of outwardly blaming somebody for how we feel and what we do in life um, it's 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 far better ultimately to say like 